you into a place of contentment. See, sometimes we get a prophetic word. A veces no una palabra profética. And then our life y vida appears to go in reverse se apare, se como que va of what thus saith the Lord. De eso que dijo el Señor. They told you you're going to get a house. Te dijeron, te voy a una casa. You get to work tú al and they lay you off. Y te voy So do you gonna get married? Te te a casar. The next day your boyfriend breaks up with you. Día, tu juego te, te Let me tell you why that happens. Mira por qué pasa Because eso. the person that gets the prophetic word is not the person no that walks in it. In, in between you are thus saith the Lord Entre, dice Dios, ahí dice el Señor, and walking in it palabra, is a process. Un so when you finally so get there, ten, tu, tu when you finally ahí, get there, you are not the person you were. La persona que era antes. Yes. This is kingdom. Esto es reino. Kingdom doesn't align with the world. El reino no se alinea con la palabra. When you die, you live. Cuando tú mueres, tú vives en When la you give, you get. Cuando tú das, tú recibes. When you're last, you're first. Cuando eres el último, eres primero. When you're poor, you're rich. Cuando eres pobre, eres rico. When you serve, you're great. Cuando tú sirves, eres grande. So you look like you're going backward Aparenta in the natural. Como que estás retrocediendo But in the spirit, I'm moving forward. Pero en el espíritu está corriendo, está adelantando. My last point. Yes. My last point. Mi último punto. Watch this. Mira I love. Esto. Somebody had a tambourine. Where's I that tambourine? tambourine. I saw tambourine. it. Where's ahí, that ahí, tambourine? Aquí atrás. Back here. Get tambourine. that for me. Thank you. I know Jesus. it's God. Just any tambourine. That was a beautiful song. Es una canción bonita. Sung by Moses. Para Don't you para think? Moses. Beautiful ¿Cómo, cómo song. Piensa? And they sang it to the Lord. After the Lord did that miracle on their behalf. After he did the impossible. They began to sing. Now, I want to pose something different. That as beautiful as that song was. As wonderful as that song was. That they sung after the Lord did the breakthrough. Because you have to understand. They had nothing but the clothes on their back. They were outnumbered. Outclassed by the Egyptians. Stuck between two mountains. And a sea. And your enemy in front of you. God parts the sea. They make it to the other side. Their enemies drown. And then they worship. Now imagine how much more beautiful. Imagine how much more powerful. If Moses que si Moisés and the Israelites y los realistas would have sung that song esa canción before, antes, before, antes, before, antes, before God did the miracle, antes de buscar milagro, how much more powerful que más poderoso sería would that have been? If in the face of Satan, si en la cara de Satanás, if in the face of the enemy, y del faraón, it looks like there's no way out for me. No hay para but mí. I'm gonna worship Pero God. Yo adoro a Dios. But I'm gonna praise my God. Pero yo adoro a Dios. Because even if He doesn't heal me, aunque no me sane, He's still Rafa. Pero como quiera es Rafa. If He doesn't give me a financial aunque breakthrough, un, un gran momento de finanza, He's still Jira. Como quiero que so He's still worthy of my worship. Es de adoración. In the face of Satan, en la cara de Satanás. You see, when Moses sang that song, Mira, cuando Moisés adoró esa canción, he was grateful. Él estaba agradecido. When you worship God after cuando the fact, Dios, you're grateful. Después de la manera que tú eres agradecido, agradecido. But when you worship God before, cuando adoro a Dios antes, you're great. Tú eres grande. Okay. Anybody, you're okay. you're grateful after, but in the face of Satan, eres you're great. Eres agradecido. Anybody después. can worship God after. After you're healed. Claro, que puede adorar después que te sanen. Anybody can worship God Cualquiera after you get the breakthrough. Después que te dan el rompimiento. Anybody can worship God Cualquiera after the healing. Lo hace But when la you can worship Pero God, puede adorar a Dios, if I gotta wave this tambourine for weeks, if I have to worship for weeks, si que adorar por semanas antes, for months, por meses, for years, por años, in the face of the enemy, enemigo, when you worship, adoras, you are great. Eres grande. Everybody, Todo el mundo. I know this is prophetic. I told you, a, your, I told you a prophet. 
I told your prophet because this church is, I, maybe I'm making, I, I said it to my husband, this revelation. Right. He said, but you might want to ask him if the church is named after Mars Hill. Le, I don't le, know le if it is. Le a mi esposo okay. uh, de just, esta revelación y él me dijo, pregúntale a yo si la iglesia es, es llamada Mars por la, porque bíblicamente esa palabra está en, en la Biblia. Mars had, Hill, donde Pablo predicó y estaba ahí. Mars Hill. Mars means making a real sacrifice. Well, I'm letting you know that God is giving another revelation that Te you digo, are also like Mars Hill, where Paul stood in the face mm -hmm. of the world mm -hmm. and conquered and overcame because of the anointing. Amen. Mars, como nosotros, se levantará también la montaña que Pablo habló y se levantó contra el mundo y venció por la unción que había sobre él. And in the face of the Colosseum, y en la cara del Coliseo, people había, would go to this little, little, this little, this little stone he stood on. The Colosseum is, I've seen, it's gigantic. And people would leave the Colosseum. They left the Colosseum and came to this little rock because there was an anointing on this man. Because there was revelation coming out of his mouth that you couldn't find in a big place. That's what's on this house. Come on now, people. He's giving That's you a new name. He's, nuevo giving you, he's giving you new insight into your name. Uh, uh, insights, nueva, uh, the Lord gave the prophet the, the prophets the word, the mm. name, and it's confirmed in his word again. El pro, el nombre de se confirmado también en la Biblia. So watch this. Mira eso. Everybody wants to be like Paul. Todo el mundo quiere ser como Pablo. Because he's this wrote most of the Bible claro, the New Testament casi el Nuevo Testamento entero. but God gave me a revelation Pero about worship to him me dio una revelación de adorarlo a él. watch this Mira esto. Acts 16, Hechos 16 verse 16. Verso 16 let me just read let me read let me start with 23, Mira lo que dice 23. Are you sure? Okay. After they had been severely flogged, beaten, they were thrown into prison. And the jailer was commanded to guard them carefully. When he received these orders, ordenes, he put them in the inner cell puso el más allá adentro, and en la fastened their feet in the stocks. Le puso, eh, en los pies con cadenas. Jesus. About midnight, Paul and Silas, en la media noche, Pablo y Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. Adorando y orando a Dios. And the other prisoners, watch this, y los otros prisioneros were listening to them. Escuchándolo a ellos. Suddenly, Re de repente, there was a violent earthquake había un, un terremoto violento. that the foundations of the prison were shaken. De la prisión se movió. At once, all the prison doors flew open. Toda la puerta se abrieron de la cárcel. And everyone's chains came loose. Y toda cadena se God is prophesying to Dios this house. Esta Everybody's casa. chains came loose. Toda cadena se va a romper. When they worshipped, the chains adoraron, came loose. La cadena se quitaron. The jailer woke up. Cuando el, el que estaba cuidando los And when he levantó, saw the prison doors open. Vio que estaba abierta las he drew, please watch this he drew his sword and was about to kill himself because he thought the prisoners had escaped watch this but Paul shouted this is the last thing I'm going to say don't harm yourself watch this we are all still here Mm, okay, let me break this down. Mira, mira, mira esto, mira esto. Back in ancient times, en los tiempos antiguos, if you escape from prison, si tú te de la, de la prisión, it's not like now with America's Most Wanted no and que te busque, FBI. Que te sí, yeah. If you escaped, si tú, tú they escapaba, would let you go. Te no te they say if you could get out, si tú salir, te you're saliste. good. But they would kill the jailer pero, pero al que, al que because it was his responsibility to keep you in prison. So that was the motivation la to do your job correctly. If anybody escapes, si tú, se escapa, they can go. But irse. we're going to kill you. That's why Eso es porque, when the doors opened se la puerta, and the chains came loose, se, se rompió, so the, the jailer was about to kill himself. And Paul said, Pablo dijo, don't harm yourself, don't no kill yourself. We're all still here. Aquí todavía. I have read that passage of scripture muchas veces, hundreds of times. Cientos de veces. And I never noticed y nunca me di cuenta that Paul said, que Pablo dijo, we're all still here. Todo aquí todavía. Now, 
I'm from Red Hook. Like, I'm, Red from, Hook I'm born and raised. That means I'm from the hood. I'm from Brook, born Hook. and raised. So I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But if you keep it real, Paul and Silas were innocent. They're apostles. They're men of God. Everybody else up in there was guilty. Now, if I know I'm guilty, and I know they're gonna kill me, and my chains come off, and no cops are coming after me, I'm out. Am I the only one? Is anybody real? I'm not a Christian. I'm not an apostle. Y'all looking at me like I'm crazy. You would have been out too. Like Monopoly. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. I'm out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get why Paul and Silas say they're men of integrity they're apostles but I didn't get why why would the the unsaved people stay there that God you got to explain to me why they stayed and the Lord said it was a direct download from heaven he said those prisoners esos prisioneros had been in Paul and Silas's presence. Estaban en la presencia de Pablo y Sila. They knew they were innocent. Ellos sabían que eran inocentes. And they were worshiping and praising God. Y estaban adorando a Dios. As they're being beaten and abused. Como le dan a ellos. And los the soldados. Lord said to me. Y el Señor me dijo. Those prisoners. Esos prisioneros. The other ones. Los otros. They didn't want to be free from their cell. Ellos no querían ser libres de la casa solamente. They wanted to be free in their soul. Querían ser libres de tu espíritu. They wanted to be free in their soul. Ser libres en su alma. They said. I want what they have that I can be innocent treated horribly but I still have joy but I still got a smile on my face but I still got lifted hands they didn't want to be free from their cell because that, that, that you could be free from the cell and still in bondage in your mind you could be free from the cell and still be depressed you could be free from the cell and still be miserable that's why they wanted to be free in their soul some of you are saying what does that have to do with me because there's some people in your cell with you hmm. go there come on prophet there are people in the cell with you I know you thought when you got saved it was going to be roses and a yellow brick road let me, let, me, let, me, let me be transparent it's why God uses me saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost pastoring married in the will of God prayed for a child I, I went to every pastor I went to every doctor's appointment I followed the, 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 I, it took all my prenatal vitamins everything I was I was preaching until, un, I was preaching literally the Sunday before I gave birth doing ministry the whole time so why was my son born autistic that's too real for five, that's too real for some people that you can be sold out for God and find yourself in a cell-like experience and find yourself living a life you didn't expect and find yourself weeping and saying God why but I know that there's some people in the cell with me that are going to watch me and see what I do is she going to stop preaching is she going to stop prophesying I'm going to keep worshiping God I'm going to keep believing for a miracle there are people in your cell with you your children are looking to see is mommy going to still worship that person at your job who knows that you're a Christian and you play star 99.1 and, 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 and the Christian stations and, 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 and they watch the boss treat you badly they want to know are you going to still worship are you going to still worship are you going to still worship? People that are ready and are going to worship God in spirit and in truth that are going to be free in their soul. That's that level of worship. Yes, Father, I hear you. I know there's some of you that it's difficult to worship when you find yourself in what I've just described a valley. 
Just because you're a leader doesn't mean you're not going to be in a valley. Porque tú eres un líder no significa que no vas a estar en un valle. It means that significa that you do it anyway. Que tú vas para allá como quieras. You preach with a broken heart. Tú predicas con un corazón quebrantado. That's all that it means. <laughs> But the Lord revealed something Pero to me. Me, algo a me. But people that are willing to worship in the middle Pero of your valley. Que están a en el medio del valle. A valley is the pattern of heaven. Un valle, un patrón, como un patrón del cielo. Because what is a valley? Porque, ¿qué es un valle? ¿Qué es un valle? It's a depression. En una de, un, un lugar bajo between two mountains. Entre dos montañas. So you have a mountain. Entonces tiene una montaña. And then you have a valley. Y tiene un, un valle. And then you have a mountain. Y después tiene una montaña. And then you have a valley. Y tiene un valle. And then I have another y mountain. Una montaña. And then I have another y valley. Otro valle. And then I have y another montaña, mountain. Because he's God of the hill and the valley. Oh, yes, porque Dios es la de la altura so y del valle. So what that means del valle. is I'm not ashamed of my valley. No estoy avergonzado de mi valle. Because if it's a mountain, then porque a valley, si then another mountain. Valle, después un valle, después my una valley, mi valle, is a prophecy. Es una profecía. My valley mi valle is a prophecy es una of my mountain to mi come. Que viene so if you're in a valley, si un valle, don't be ashamed. No tenga Give God advance es praise Dios. because this valley Adora, tú, este valle is the prophecy es la of the next highest de que viene level una that I'm about to walk in. Aleluya. Stand to your feet. Párate en tus pies. Párate todo el mundo. The Lord has spoken. El habló, el Señor habló. He's spoken to this house. Habló esta casa. He's spoken to your pastors habló a tu pastores. and he's spoken to you y te habló a ti. I'm just here to yo, minister as the Spirit of the Lord would see fit aquí yo ministro al, al Espíritu so, Santo. I'll pass it over to your pastors I'll be here on the side and whoever needs to be prayed for is there anybody that doesn't know Jesus though is there anybody que here no Jesús y because you're the corazón. priority Porque tú if there anybody that does not you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior aquí que Jesús en su corazón, that if no you no died or tonight que si te mueres hoy, that you are not sure without a shadow of a doubt that heaven would be your home que el cielo va a ser tu I want you to come I want to pray Quiero for que venga para anyone si Jesús, tu corazón, well let us vez. bless God that everyone Vamos will spend Dios. eternity with the Lord que todo, que it's been a pleasure to be here may the Lord bless you and keep you yeah I'm here to prophesy and pray for anybody good, so good. that's Amen. what I said si oración, I'm here I'm here pasa por aquí pasa por, ya terminó Vamos, si quiero oración te voy a dar un minuto para que lo pienses. La ventana después se cierra. Si quiero oración, pasen por adelante por este momento. Amén, my brother. It's for you. It's for you. Tranquilo. It's for you. It's for her. It's for her that's coming. Amén. Ujier pendiente. Quiero dos do líneas, una aquí y una por detrás. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Vamos a orar por ustedes en este momento. Una aquí y otra allá. Mira mi gente, fácil. Venga aquí. Así, así. Ay, perdón, hijo. Ahí, ahí. Ahora un espacio de aquí y gente allá. Ustedes saben esto, mi gente. Esto no hay que decirle a nadie. Exactamente. Después van así, espacio. Después van ustedes. Vamos a hacerlo en orden. Amén, aleluya. Venga acá, venga aquí. Venga aquí. Párate ahí. Aquí es una línea. Ujere. Y Cajuli, you guys got this. Like that. Space in the middle. There you go. That's it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Cuando haremos por ti, regresa. Si puede, para que podamos administrar a otra persona. ¿Verdad que sí? Give me some Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Father, we thank you. Pueblo en oración para que Dios te hable en este momento. Pueblo en oración en este momento. Aleluya. El bebé, favor, también, favor, estamos ministrando. Aleluya. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Gracias, Señor. Gracias, Señor. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus.
Ramanzo Rebeshe Kei Ramanzo Thank you Jesus Hallelujah. That's why maybe they would have died. Maybe that's why they went to jail. But I separated you from my purpose. That's why the devil himself has come against you and tried to kill you, even from your childhood. Because I've called you to be my evangelist. You will go into the highways and byways. You will snatch people up that are in the kingdom of darkness. You are a weapon of mass destruction, says the Lord your God. You are a weapon of mass destruction against the kingdom of darkness. You've got to be mindful of your assignment. You have to be mindful of the call of God upon your life uh, so that you would not fall prey to the attacks of the enemy, uh, so that you would not fall prey uh, to the attacks of Satan uh, because you're living for the Lord. Uh, you're being sold out, young man. It's bigger than just you. Uh, there are people, there are lives that hang in the balance. Uh, there are lives that hang in the balance. Uh, that's why you've got to decide to follow Jesus and remain with him uh, all the days of your life. Uh, I see you preaching in prisons. Uh, I see you preaching in prisons. Uh, I see you preaching on the street corners. Uh, people that nobody can get to. I don't know why, but I hear God saying that. That even mothers will come to you. Uh, even mothers will say, my son doesn't want to hear about God. Uh, my children don't want to hear about God. Uh, oh, but there will be such an anointing on you uh, that people that are hard-hearted and stubborn, uh, I will use you to be a fisher of many men. Amen. Father, we seal this word. We cancel any retaliation of the enemy. We cancel it in the name of Jesus. This is your evangelist, oh God. And Father, his destiny is great. And Father, he will call them from the highways and byways for the glory of the King. In Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for this prophet. thank you for a modern day prophet I thank you that this prophet will not kiss the lips of Baal I thank you that this prophet that this prophet will not bow his knees to Baal the father that this prophet will be separated and set apart even when he comes from his mother oh God this prophet this prophet will impact his generation in an unprecedented way and Father, this mother may feel overwhelmed at the prospect of giving birth to a latter-day prophetic voice. But Father, I thank you. 
I thank you, O oh God, that this prophet will fast at a young age, that this prophet, O oh God, will be sold out at a young age, that it's no coincidence that you brought this child into a prophetic house because, Father, you will use the leaders of this house to mentor this prophet in his gift. For this young man will be mentored in his gift from young. He will be a prophet that will let others know not to remove the ancient landmarks that the forefathers have set before uh, that father that when this child speaks uh, that when this child ministers uh, that they will say when he ministers uh, oh he's like a throwback he's he's so old school uh, he's so different uh, because he's not gonna be like everybody else uh, he will not be a gimmicky prophet uh, he will be able to call out sin uh, he will be able yes yes a real prophet uh, oh father because when the real prophets come uh, people don't even want to come to the altar because the real prophets can see sin uh, the real prophets can call things out without intimidation and you will use this prophet I don't know why but I see your son going in even to mega churches wow and admonishing pastors of churches of thousands and admonishing them to get right again with God admonishing pastors of churches of thousands of getting back to the basics of getting back ah, to the horns of the altar I thank you that this woman that in the natural though she may feel unworthy I hear the Lord saying there's a joke bed anointing upon you oh yes you open up your Bible and research research get in the book of Exodus research Jokabed, everything yes. about joke bed because there's issues you've dealt with anxiety and you've dealt with fear and you're always thinking and second guessing and you think entirely too much uh, yes that's been an issue you've always had uh, and people have always told you that oh if you can you've even said that. I wish I could just turn my mind off I wish I could just turn my thoughts off yes it's true and every time you lie down in the midnight hour you can't even turn your thoughts off you have to replay every single thing and what was said and what happened and who looked at you and how it how things went and what if this and what if that but I hear the Lord saying that even as this child would come out from your womb, you are a jokebed. You are a mother of faith. I'm shifting, yes, because faith is a gift. My God. It's a gift of faith that God is giving to you in this season. It's a gift of faith that God is giving to you. And after you give birth to this child, uh, even the way like placenta and afterbirth comes out of a woman, uh, so will faith come out from you. Uh, it will come out of your pores. Uh, it will come out of your mouth. Uh, you will not speak the same. Uh, you won't say the things you used to say. Uh, your speech will be different. Uh, you will speak the word of God. You will speak life. Uh, you will not speak death. Uh, you know how it's been you'll speak positive for three days and then if things go down then all of a sudden you're speaking the way you used to but you will be different and people that have known you for years will say you're like a different person because there's another level of faith Jochebed was Moses's mother it took a level of faith to take your baby and put him in a river with crocodiles and put that baby in a river where it could be harmed but that's the level of faith and you may feel unworthy to give birth uh, to such a mighty man of God but the Lord says to you that you are blessed and highly favored that you are blessed and highly favored uh, and to every thought of insecurity you are worthy and to every thought of condemnation there is therefore no condemnation it's a new day and it's a new season in Jesus name Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Sigamos torando, mi gente, en el nombre de Jesús. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Father, I thank you for the open heaven. I thank you that there's an open heaven over this precious jewel. That, Father, it's open now. That it's open now. That there were things that were closed that God is opening and that there is not only an open heaven that out of that open heaven will come a healing rain it's a rain that will heal whatever's going on with this hand it's a healing that will come to this hand it's a healing that will come to this mind it's a healing that will come to these emotions father i thank you that this is a season of healing i thank you that this is a season of not only physical healing but this is a season of emotional healing that this is a season of psychological healing that father that you are restoring in every possible way that you are restoring her mind that you are restoring tendons that you are restoring nerves 
nerves, uh, that you are restoring cells, uh, that you are restoring relationships. Thank you, oh God, uh, that she enters into a season of restoration, a season of restoration and a season of favor. In Jesus' name we pray. away the condemnation that father that you're silencing the voices that you're silencing the voices of not good enough the voices of regret I thank you oh God that upon this vessel I thank you that upon this vessel Lord God there's a new beginning it's not too late I hear the Lord saying that it's not too late I'll just move quicker I'm not done with you. And I give you a new taste. I give you a new taste. Things you had a taste for, you will no longer have a taste for anymore. did with Joshua I snatch you from the fire and I see even in the in the in the realm of the spirit a white turban being placed around your head it's clean linen it's clean linen it's new thoughts it's a new perspective it's a new perspective on the journey it's a new perspective on a journey. A journey where you've cried far more than you've laughed. A journey where you've cried far more than you've laughed. A journey where you have experienced great brokenness. But I hear the Lord say, I put you on my potter's wheel. I put you on the potter's wheel and I'm remolding you and I will reshape you if you will allow me to. If you would allow me to. Because I know you love me. You love your Abba Father. You love your Father in heaven. But you don't trust me. You don't trust me all the way. You trust me but with limits. You trust me to a point. You believe me for a portion of it. But I hear God saying, I want all of your heart. I want all of your trust. I want all. I won't disappoint. I'm not like them. I don't know why, but the Lord said to declare over you that I'm not a man that I should lie. Because you've been lied to. You've been lied to more times than you can count. You've been promised and people have not upheld their word. And it's always been that way. And it's always been that way. But God said, I'm not a man that I should lie. I don't promise and not fulfill. Your lack of trust in me has blocked blessings. But I will move in this season. I will move in this season in accordance with your faith. If you would believe me for more, I would do more. Unwavering, unshakable, unmoving. Father, I thank you for healing of a broken heart. 
I thank you, Lord God, for healing from childhood disappointment. I thank you, Lord God, that she will be able to lean on you and not on her own understanding. In Jesus' name. the spirit of a finisher on this one oh I see it you're not done yet there's a new impartation of power and anointing to accomplish everything that has been spoken I see you I see you yes 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 it's almost like a stove there are things on the back burner but I'm taking them from the back to the front because you are willing to believe me because you are willing to trust me even when it didn't look good even when everybody Said, where is Cuando your God now? Where is your God now? Dios? You said I'm gonna keep believing. No dijiste, you kept saying that, creyendo. you kept saying even like Abraham. Como Abraham. Oh, I see an Abraham anointing on you. You are a daughter of Sarah. Oh Eres yes, that Abraham Sarah. against all hope, in hope believed that he esperanza. would be the father of many nations. You're gonna give birth, yes, tú at this age. A luz. So things that you've been believing a God for. Watch me. Mírame. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the favor. I, I'm not a prophet that prophesies money. That's not my thing. But there's a breakthrough coming. Woo! There's a breakthrough. And I'm going to tell you why there's a breakthrough. Because I see right now, even in the spirit, what happened with Solomon is going to happen with you and your household. Shama Saya. Let me tell you why. Because Solomon was not asking for material things. He was not asking for material things. He was not asking for houses. He wasn't asking for land. He asked for wisdom. He asked for the things that only God can give. And because you just want the peace of God, because you just desire his presence, you just desire the presence in your house. You just desire for your whole house to serve the Lord. You just desire for the promise for as for me and my house that we will serve the Lord because you want the presence of Almighty God and the weight of His glory and His presence to be felt in your house in such a unique way. And God said because that's what you wanted. Because you want peace. You want the things that money can't buy. Not only will I give you a heritage of the servants of the Lord children that will not depart from the house of Almighty God children that will serve God in spirit and in truth not only will I give you that I'm about to give you such a financial breakthrough this is a season of breakthrough how it's gonna be that somebody that you don't even know just will come up to you and put money in your hand and say I don't even know why I'm doing this I don't even know you like that but that's what God is doing and even as a prophet has put money in your hand there will be multiple testimonies but it God says I'm doing this because I know that I can trust you because it's not just for houses and for you to live well. I'm not saying that you won't. But so that you can be a blessing. Because you know that's your heart. <laughs> I don't know why, but I hear God. He's saying it to me right in my ear. That there are times that you've even said that. Where you've said, you know, uh, you hear about a person's need. And you'll go home and say, man, I really wish I could help them. You know it's the truth. You said, I wish I could just write them a check. Uh, I wish that I could just go send them on a vacation. I wish people that don't have food, you wish you could just take them and do a giant compra. People that have issues and can't pay their rent. Uh, and you wish that you can do it for them. And God said, because I see your heart. It's going to be just like that. We thank you for this breakthrough. In Jesus' name.
Father, we thank you for the winds of revival. Father, I don't know their role, their assignment, but I see, Lord God, that there are winds of revival on this couple. There's a wind on you, brother. I just, I just see it in the spirit of Almighty God. There's something I'm shifting you. And there is a flame that the Lord is making into a wildfire. And the thing about wildfires is that they're contagious and they spread and they spread rapidly. And I'm going to use you, Amashaya, and I'm going to use you to ignite. That's the word of the Lord for you in this season. I use you as an igniter of the brethren. I use you as an igniter of the brethren. And when you speak, you're going to speak different. And when you worship, you're going to worship different. And people that know you and even people I don't know that are over you or cover you, they're going to be like you're different I don't know you just sound different uh, you've been with us for a while but even the way you just prayed for the offering uh, it's just totally different the way that you greeted the people it, it's just different I don't know what's going on but I hear the spirit of Almighty God yes and those are even new tongues yes 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 I'm imparting right now on impartation on impart and I hear the Lord say, you're going to be in your house. You're going to be in your house one day. And you're going to say, I'm assuming this is your wife. You're going to say to your wife, where did all this wind? Where did all this wind come from? And you're literally going to say this, watch this. You're literally going to say, and I quote, did somebody leave the window open? There's all this wind in the house and your wife is going to say, nobody left the window open. That will be the sign of the new anointing that you're walking in. That's going to be the sign of the new level of revival that will come upon you right in the house. Even as I did it in Acts, I'm going to do it with you right in your house. But you're going to take it with you back to the other house, to the house of Almighty God in Jesus' name. That's an answer to prayer. That's an answer to prayer. I told you that I was raising you up as a leading woman. As a leading woman. As a leading woman. I don't know. I see conferences. I see women's retreats. I don't know. I just see this all over you. I don't know what your assignment is, but I see conferences, I see retreats, I see God using you, I see God raising you up uh, with a clarion call. There's almost going to be like a clarion call anointing, that there's going to be an anointing on you to gather women. There's an anointing on you, and there are moments, and that's why God has to send a prophet that, I, I don't know you from a can of paint, sweetheart, but what God does, he sends somebody because sometimes you feel insecure, and there are moments you said, I don't really feel like, I don't really, you know, I don't know, I just, you know, because you second guess yourself. You're the one that will cheer everybody else on you're the one that encourages everybody else uh, you're the one that believes God for everybody else but I've called you too and I've anointed you too I don't know I see the Lord says to use this analogy it's almost like a basketball game and you have people that are on the bench and they're there cheering everybody that's on the starters but I hear God saying I'm changing your jersey I'm taking off the old and I'm putting something new on you because now you're coming in the game. You're coming in. You're coming in. You're coming in. And when you come in, things will shift. And I hear the Lord saying to tell you, you will never have to tell anybody who you are. You will never have to advocate. See, that, I, I hope you know, that's what's on me. I don't have cards. I don't, I don't, that's not how I move. Because I hear the Lord saying, I am your public relations person. You will never have to tell anybody who you are. You will never fall prey to any of that drama. Because through my power, I'm going to show them who you are in my kingdom for my glory. The Lord is speaking in this house. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God, for longevity. We thank you for longevity. We thank you for longevity over this vessel. We thank you for longevity 
we thank you for guidance we thank you for guidance i hear the lord saying and you will hear a voice you will hear a voice that is saying this is the way walk in it i hear the lord saying that because you've needed direction in this season I see many doors, I see many paths and you're trying to figure out which path you're supposed to take and you're praying and you're wondering and is this a sign and this and all of that but I hear the Lord saying that as you respond and respond quickly I will speak more clearly because that's what I want from you. I want you to respond. See I hear the Lord saying your Gideon season is over. No more the fleece and then I do this and then if the bird flies and if a butterfly comes and lands on my shoulder those days are over because I'm putting upon you a boldness and an authority and not even faith I'm graduating you from faith to trust you're gonna trust that I'm guiding you you're gonna trust that I'm moving in you you're gonna trust that I'm leading you for my glory and the Lord saying I'm just asking you to respond and respond quickly in Jesus name That all fear is gone yes that's what I hear you can choose faith or you can choose fear gracias que la tola el, el temor se fue o escoge fe o escoge temor the choice is yours es tu, tu decisión I see you paralyzed by fear veo que la fe te paraliza la, 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 el temor te paraliza no more ya no más no more ya no más dice Dios the Lord said to tell you that I'm on your side you don't feel worthy of it you, you walk with condemnation and not feeling worthy but I hear the Lord saying your past will have no power over you I throw your sins in the sea of forgetfulness no 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 you will walk now you walk with a confidence con una because I'm on your side estoy tu lado. the Lord said for me to anoint your eyes I anoint your eyes even like the servant with the prophet and the prophet prayed to God y el a Dios. and said Lord open el, his eyes Señor, abre sus ojos. that he will see que él vea. And then he opened his eyes. And he saw that there were angels and chariots of fire. I'm going to cause you to see things that are working on your behalf that you have no clue about I'm working in ways you don't see I'm moving in ways you don't see believe me Créeme. believe that I am with you que yo estoy contigo. that I protect you I protect you. Que yo te protejo. A thousand will fall at one side. Mil que hayan a tu diestra. And ten thousand at the other. Y de mil a tu siniestra. I don't know what this means. No sé qué significa esto. But I hear the Lord say. Pero yo escucho que dice el Señor. That sometimes you'll say. Que a veces tú vas a decir. But 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 this happened with when when they went through it. That's what happened. Pero esto pasó cuando ellos lo hicieron. Eso fue lo que pasó. When 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 that situation happened. Cuando esa situación pasó. With that person. De esa persona. That bad thing happened. Eso pasó malo. But you're not them. Pero tú no eres ellos. I'm gonna do something different with you. Algo diferente a ellos. I'm gonna protect you. Te voy a proteger. I go before you. Yo voy delante de ti. Goodness and mercy follow you. La misericordia viene a seguir en toda tu vida. No tenga miedo. For the Lord thy God is with you. I hear the Lord saying you're going to sleep in peace. Escucho, dice Dios que va a dormir en paz. You haven't been sleeping well. No duerme últimamente bien. You haven't been sleeping well. No duerme bien. But tonight. Pero hoy. You're going to sleep like a baby. Vas a dormir como un bebé. You're going to sleep like a baby. Vas a dormir como un bebé. You're going to sleep the way Adam slept. Va a, a, a dormir como si Adam. Ay ya. Abraham. Ama, that the Lord put him to sleep and que pulled out the rib. Que... Because there's stuff on the inside of you. Cosa de and ti. God's going to pull it out. Que Dios lo va a, 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 That's why you had to go through this season. Por tiene que pasar por esta temporada. So that God can pull things para que out de, of you. Dios saque esas cosas. Just trust me. Solamente confía. In Jesus name. En nombre de Jesús. En nombre de Jesús.